It's been said that talent is evenly distributed, but opportunity is not. Shaped by a Santa Clara education, guided by Ignatian values, and driven by a passion of purpose, Charles Schmuck is ensuring those with talent have the opportunities and support they need to succeed. Born in New York, but raised in the Bay Area, Charles arrived on the Mission Campus in 1966. Schmuck quickly made a name for himself by campaigning for and winning the role of head cheerleader. As a student, he traveled with Bronco sports teams, excelled academically, and made lifelong friends. But it was a chance encounter on the Kennedy Mall that laid the foundation of his legacy. In February 1969, just months before commencement, Father Richard Cause, an economics professor and director of the Study Abroad program, stopped Charles on his way to class. In a few short minutes, the persuasive Father Cause convinced Schmuck to join him for a post-graduation immersion trip to the Far East. Charles traveled through the Philippines, Malaysia, Cambodia, Thailand, and Japan. Over the course of 11 weeks, he encountered destitute families living in heartbreaking conditions. This first exposure to extreme poverty was an awakening. And, as Father Cause most assuredly intended, Charles began to consider his own life and responsibility for giving back to those less fortunate. With a newfound desire to serve, Schmuck began his career as a teacher, but growing family responsibilities led to a three decades career in ad sales. These days, Charles proudly boasts three children, Heidi, Brian, and Brigitta, six grandchildren, and 13 family members who are also Santa Clara Broncos. Professional stability is important, but the heart is an excellent compass, and Charles's heart eventually guided him back to the classroom. At Presentation High School in San Jose, Schmuck became a favorite with students and fellow teachers. He taught history, coached JV golf, was actively involved on campus, and, channeling his own transformative experience, helped lead several school immersion trips. As a teacher, Charles saw firsthand how higher education changed lives. But he was also acutely aware of a glaring inequity, namely, 90% of first-generation students did not graduate from college. A Jesuit education does not just expose someone to injustice in our world, it demands we take action. So in 2005, Schmuck gathered family and friends in his living room, and the Peninsula College Fund was born. I think that he basically, through his experience, I mean, he's been a teacher, he's had that experience, and he's seeing the statistics about first-generation college students and just how many of them make it out of the four-year program within, I think, six years. Mm -hmm. And the statistics are not really in, on our favor. So he, I guess he wanted to change that and with his own small way, which grew super big, um, wanted to make an impact on these kids' lives. Mm -hmm. And I think he's also driven by like student successes. Like He sees that we are first-generation low-income students, but he sees like that we are capable of becoming professionals in the workforce, and he just continues to support us. PCF, as it's known, provides life skills, financial aid, mentors, and internships to hardworking, first-generation college students who often have the talent, but not always the opportunity, to graduate and secure meaningful work. Since awarding the first three scholarships in 2005, 254 students have participated in this amazing program. 94% of those have graduated or are on track to graduate, and 88% of the class of 2018 is employed or in graduate school. Today, PCF doesn't just survive, it thrives. A growing staff and a strong community of students, mentors, and donors ensures the Peninsula College Fund will endure. This will be Charles Schmuck's lasting legacy, and his enthusiasm, persistence, and dedication will continue serving as an inspiration for those who know firsthand what it means to struggle. He puts all his guts and all his passion out there, and I think people see it, and that's why they get involved, and that's why the program thrives, is because of his passion and the belief in what he's doing. Uh, I think Charles is like the quintessential like father figure um, he's just, when he's, when he's in the room, like, everybody feels his presence, they just feel like, um, 
it's going to be a good day. And so I think, yeah, I think Charles is just like PCF as a whole. He's just like an inspiration in his entirety. Life has come full circle for Charles. After a Santa Clara immersion trip profoundly changed his life, he is now profoundly changing the lives of others. I want to say congratulations. You've really inspired so many people and I think because of your spirit, your um, persistence, your just humor um, and your support, I think um, you've really encouraged so many to stay involved and to believe in first generation students the way you really have. You've, you've made a difference for all of us and I hope that you keep doing the job that you're doing because I don't know anyone else like you. Charles, you're an exceptional human being and um, my family and I are infinitely grateful for all of the doors of opportunities that you have um, opened for us and we congratulate you on the Ignatian Award and all your other successes. Congratulations, Charles. Thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication. Through your many years of work with the PCO program, you have made students like me be able to say we are the first in our family to go to college. Thank you very much. For his vision, passion, and relentless commitment to expanding opportunities for talented first-generation college students, the Alumni Association is proud to honor Charles Schmuck with the 2019 Ignatian Award.